welcome back to the Strong Mom channel. My name is Denise Chiraboga, personal trainer for moms in pregnancy and in postpartum. Today, this is your post-pregnancy Pilates exercises. And this postpartum Pilates workout is perfect for all levels and stages of postpartum, and even for moms after having a C-section, as well as moms who are healing diastasis recti. And the reason is because we are working our deep core. We are connecting with our deep core muscles. And what this is doing is helping us to become stronger in your core. If you feel weak after your C-section, or if you feel weak after having your baby, if you have mommy tummy, diastasis recti, and you wanna bring the belly inward, to not be looking pregnant or to kind of minimize the C-section shelf, these exercises will help you with that. So let's get started. Find a mat somewhere nice and comfortable on the floor and let's get to it. And let's have a seat on the mat here. Um, I'm gonna stay on my knees. This is the most comfortable position for me and best way to kind of go over exactly what we wanna do in all of these exercises in engaging our TA muscles, that's our transverse abdominis, to make the most out of this post-pregnancy Pilates workout. So take a seat, you can sit on a chair, you can be kneeling like I am, you can even be sitting here. What we wanna do is make sure that we are working our TA for this whole uh, all of these exercises. So I want you to take your fingertips and I want you to place them on your hip bones. I want you just to go an inch medial to that. So from your bones, just a little bit in, in inward towards your belly button. And right here, you're gonna find it's a little bit squishy. There's no bones, you know? You can, you can kind of push in a little bit. And what I want you to do is make a little cough. <laughs> when you did that, you probably felt a little bit of tension. Not bulging out, but kind of tension happening there. What I want you to do is create that tension on your own with your breath. So I want you to blow out and feel that this area is tightening up. I call it the low belly button. So this is my actual belly button. This is my pretend low belly button that I want to be drawing inward. Now this is different from, you know, cues like uh, 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 bring your belly button back to your spine. We don't want to be doing that. We want to take the low belly and we want to really bring that back towards your spine. Another way I like to visualize this is pretend that you are zipping up a tight pair of jeans, right? When you're zipping up a tight pair of jeans, what do you do? You kind of bring that low belly in to be able to zip up, and that's what I want you to be doing. So I want to zip up, exhale, as you draw the low belly in. And when you do that, your belly should not be pushing outward, it should be drawing in. And on the inhale, you're filling up. Exhale, draw in, inhale down. Keep it up with me. Inhale, this is our little warm up. Now when you inhale, I want you to imagine and actually expand your ribs as if the air is coming in a whole 360 degrees here. On the exhale, rib cage soften. Inhale, exhale. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what's happening here. Now this is different from any kind of cues you've heard, maybe heard in yoga, belly breathing. We don't want to be, you know, bringing in a whole lot of air just into our belly. We want up here as well. So throughout these exercises, I want you to really expand the ribs on the side, the back, and really draw in and create that engagement in your low belly. I call it the seat belt area, right? But think about when you put on the seat belt, you got this little area here that's kind of tight with that seat belt. So I wanna come onto all fours and do this practice on all fours position before we get into our exercises. So from here, same thing. Inhale, expand, exhale. You can drop your head. Inhale back down. Last one, I want you to hold it. Inhale, and then I want you to engage. Keep engaged this whole time while you're inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. 
inhale and exhale and see if you can create that tension for the whole time. And release it. I know that that is going to be really challenging for some of us. So throughout these exercises, you'll hear me cueing you to do an endurance hold and hold, hold, hold while still inhaling and exhaling. But let's get started. We're gonna come down onto the ground and ease our way into it. And we're gonna start with some glute bridges. I want you to bring your arms up overhead. And as you do a glute bridge, we're gonna open and back down. Okay, you guys are very, probably very familiar with glute bridges. What we wanna do here is now bring our breath, bring our awareness into our breath as well. All right, so on the exhale, I want you to push those heels, glutes come up. On your way down, that's where you're gonna inhale. And last one. Good, we're gonna switch that up with a single leg. I want you to extend. Just bring one leg up, both hands are down on the ground. Same thing, I want you to exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Think about drawing in that low belly button as you push through the floor. Switch legs right here. And bring it down. We're going to take one hand, sorry, one knee up, and the same hand is going to push against that knee. We're gonna inhale first on your exhale. Draw in your core, corset muscle tight as you push, push, push against that knee. Inhale, release. Exhale. Now when you're doing this, you should not feel that the belly is coming, pooching upward. It should not be, as I call bread loafing, you should not be doming down the midline. You should not be coning. If you are seeing that happening, then I want you to reduce the pressure that you are pushing into that knee. And I want you to try another trick. We're gonna switch legs right here. I want you to blow, to engage before you push that hand onto that knee. Okay, let's do the other side. Inhale first, exhale, then push. Your belly, every time you exhale and push, should be flattening. Now, if you need extra challenge, you can bring this other hand up. You guys are doing great. I really want you to exhale audibly. Nice, and bring that knee down. Woo, shake it up. All right, we're gonna do some toe taps. I want you to bring your knees up to tabletop position. I want you to take that low back and you're going to push it to the floor. You should not be able to put your hand here. I want you to exhale as you tap. Inhale, come back. Can you keep that low belly, that low belly area nice and flat and engage the whole way down? And then on the way up, you're gonna inhale. And rest. All right, this time we're gonna do an endurance hold. We're gonna go with some fast taps. Our knees are gonna come back up. I want you to engage, engage, engage as we toe tap back and forth. Let's go. Exhale, engage that low belly and go. Keep it there. Keep that belly engaged as you inhale, exhale. Mine is engaged this whole while I am talking to you. Remember, this low back is pushed to the floor. 
If you need a break, go ahead. And then go back into it. I know that one was challenging. All right, I want you to come and roll over. And we're gonna come into a sideline position. Right here, I want this bottom arm to be extended out. Top leg is lifted and pointing that toe. You're just gonna rest your head on the ground, okay? So we've got five little circles here. I want that engagement in your core here. Three, two, one. I want you to bring that knee in. Push, push, push. Bring it back, let's go opposite direction, circles. You got it. Keep that core engagement here. If you need to reset, go ahead and push, push, push. One more push. Good, I want you to come up onto your forearm. You're gonna stack both feet and we're gonna do some clams here. Don't slink into your shoulder. I want you nice and propped up here. Ankles are glued together. Exhale. I want you to lift that top knee. Inhale, bring it down. Core is engaged all the way up. And then you can relax. Inhale, all the way down. Now, if this is easy enough for you and you want more of a challenge, there's two things that you could do. First, Exhale and keep it engaged all the way as the knee comes down. Now inhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Keep it engaged, keep it engaged. Or you could come up into a plank as well. That is up to you. Like so. And let's come on down. All right, lying down. Again, this time you can take your hand in your head in your hand. Bottom knees nice and bent. Exhale, engage as you bring that foot forward and come back. I'm exhaling as I bring my leg forward, engaging, and I'm rela relaxing it and inhaling as I bring that leg back. I always like to cue my clients to Exhale on the hardest part of the exercise. So where do you have to exert the most energy? Where are you pushing? That's where we want to be exhaling. Nice job. I want you to come over onto the other side and we'll do those three exercises on the other side as well. All right, lying down, bottom arm is out. We've got starting with our leg circles. Head rested on the floor, core is engaged, TA is engaged. Keep inhaling and exhaling while this is engaged here. All right, bring that knee in and exhale, engage, engage, engage. Release, let's go opposite direction of those circles, if you can remember <laughs> what you just finished. Keep it engaged, I like to tactilely tap and bring it in. Let's do that one more time, bring that knee in, push, push, push. Nice, and relax. Come on up onto your side, clam. All right, so remember what we did last time, we started, started here. You can also come up into a side plank or you exhale, let's go. Or you can exhale and engage all the way up and down. All right, think about this top leg. We're not opening so that we're rotating. We don't wanna be rotating opening. Just about one foot up and then back down. Remember, your shoulder's nice and proud. Don't be slinking into your shoulder. And if you're up here with me. Woo, bring it down. Lying down, bottom leg is bent. And we're gonna go from leg straight out, down to forward. All right, remember, engaging at the hardest part, where do you have to use your core the most? On the way up, towards your face. Now, if you're finding that the further you bring that leg, 
oh, that's where you experience, I'm losing that connection, I'm seeing some doming, I'm feeling some coning happening, then I don't want you to bring the leg up as fast. Maybe halfway, maybe three quarters of the way. Nice work. Woo, I'm feeling that. All right, come up to, up to kneeling position. And I want you to extend your right leg out. So you're on, think about the inside sole of your foot. We're going to bring our arms up overhead. I want you to inhale here. Exhale, lean over towards the left. Keep exhaling all the way up. Now inhale. If it is too much to engage all the way down and all the way up, here's what I want you to do. I want you to inhale down. Now, exhale on the way up. Inhale down. Up. Nice job. Let's switch legs. Here's that little shake. And let's bring the left leg out. Arms come up overhead. Same thing on the side. Nice work, ladies. All right, last couple exercises. We're going to come on to all fours. I want you to extend your right leg. We're going to right leg extend out, bring it back. We're going to do this for about 10 reps, and then we're going to switch it up. All right, let's go. Exhale, extend. Inhale as you come back. So we are only engaging as we push out. We're in, inhaling and letting go as we bring that knee back. All right, last one here. Keep it out. I want you to see if you can keep that endurance hold here. Bring the other opposite arm up. So left arm is out. Let's do some booty lifts here. Keep that TA engaged. If this is too much, I want to take that left hand down to the floor. Woo! Three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to switch it up. Do the same on the other side. Left leg extended out. Keep that right hand down where it is for now. And when you are ready, we are going to inhale, exhale as you extend. And I want you to keep that leg out. Keep that TA engaged, engaged, hold, hold. Nice job, keep it there. And let's lift with that leg. Your little booty lifts here. Come on. Keep exhaling to keep that TA engaged. Woo, I'm feeling the burn. Nice job. Okay. Changing it up. Left leg is going to extend out. Left, sorry, right leg out. Right arm, left arm. Opposite hand, opposite leg. We are going to crunch in and exhale, extend out. Crunch in. I am exhaling as I crunch and as I extend. If you need to break it down and take a little breather in between to reset and inhale, go ahead. If you want to go back to one of the exercises we just finished, because this is just too challenging, I encourage you to do so. All right, switch legs, switch arms. You guys are doing great. I know you're getting sweaty like me. <laughs> All right, we've got right arm, left foot, opposite, opposite. Keep that 
core engaged all throughout. Whew, come into child's pose. Ah. Take some nice deep breaths here. Think about expanding the ribcage again. <sighs> ladies, you did great job. Okay, ladies, I really want to encourage you that getting a strong core after C-section or um, with diastasis recti, healing diastasis recti, it takes a few things. It takes consistency and takes these exercises where you are engaging your TA, your core muscle, and maybe even your pelvic floor. And some of these exercises may have been easy for you. Some of them may have been challenging. But I wanna tell you that there is no such thing as a safe exercise for diastasis. There's no such thing as unsafe. Exercises are neutral. It all depends on the way that you do them and how you perform them. So if you are unsure of where to start, what exercises to do at, for where your body is right now, whether it's healing after C-section or healing diastasis recti, then I want you to click the link down below, the work with me link, and let's see if we are a good fit to work together in personal training. Because the only way that you are going to get better, the only way that you are going to minimize diastasis recti and become strong again is by doing it one step at a time and having somebody guide you, that's me, guide you what to do, when to do it, and the other things that go along with it, like nutrition. So click the link down below and let's see if we are a good fit to work together in personal online training. Ladies, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me. Oh, and if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already because I put out videos every week for you mamas. And let me know in the comments below, what do you guys wanna see next? What do you wanna work on specifically? And um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.